Today is the third video in a series of videos that I've been making for you all about these functional and lab tests that I use in my functional fertility practice so that you can get familiar with them, understand why they're so useful. And so today we're gonna to be focusing on the Dutch test. Hi everyone, I am Mara Salerno, Functional Diagnostic Nutrition Practitioner of ReclaimOptimalHealth.com, where I help couples just like you resolve their infertility and get back to creating those families you so deeply desire. And before we get started, please download and pick up my free fertility starter kit. It's available on my website. It's also available in my link in my bio on Instagram. And there's four resources in there to get you started using a holistic and drugless protocol to reclaiming your fertility and getting closer to your baby. And please click on the subscribe link button down below so that you get notifications every Friday when I post these videos. Please like the video, share the video, heart the video. And if you haven't followed me already on Instagram, please come and follow me there. I am at Mara Salerno, and I'm there to serve you, answer your questions, connect with you, and support you. Okay, let's jump in. What is the Dutch test? So Dutch stands for Dried Urine Test for Comprehensive Hormones, okay? So the emphasis is on the urine. And the reason is, is because urine is water soluble, which allows us to see the free form of your hormones. Why is that so cool? Because it means it's showing us the bioavailable or the usable form of your hormones. Like the form of your hormones that your body's actually gonna do something with. And in your case, if you're struggling with infertility, it's gonna give us a lot of information as to why your hormones are playing a role in your infertility. Now, when you go into your conventional doc, they typically use a blood test. And what happens in a blood test is that it's actually protein that's binding, okay? And so in that case, it's gonna show us more of the bound form of your hormones or more of the unusable form. There's a teensy bit of free form that we do see in the blood, but it is nothing like you would see in a urine test. So that's what makes the Dutch test so unique and stands it apart from a blood test, for example. The other really awesome thing about the Dutch test is that you can also do a salivary test in it to test your cortisol levels within a full 24 hour period, which is really different than when you do a blood test because in a blood test, it's gonna take a snapshot in that moment that you had your blood taken. And we know, you know, based on how we feel, our stress hormone cortisol is gonna vacillate accordingly. But it's really nice to see a full 24 hour period because you feel different throughout different parts of the day and that can give us a lot of information about how maybe your cortisol levels are playing a role in your infertility. Because I get all the time people going, oh yeah, I got my cortisol levels checked on my blood test and they said everything was normal. Well, one thing to take account of is it's not looking through in the mail you would receive it do it all in the comfort of your own home you put it in the um, mail packaging that they have for you in the kit you send it to the lab I get the results and then I'm able to analyze it for you which makes it really convenient and easy and it's an awesome test guys I can't tell you how useful it is okay let's jump into the test and on the computer so I can give you a nice zoomed in perspective 
Here's the Dutch test, and this is the first page, the summaries page. It's just looking at all your overall levels. But as we go through the test, it gives us much more of a thorough explanation and much more detail. One quick thing is if you get a blood test done, they're only going to look at this estradiol marker of your estrogen, and we have many forms of estrogen. In this test, we look at three forms. So that's why it's so useful. The second page is actually going to go through those levels in much more detail, but we can see it really nicely on this picture. And I know this picture can seem intimidating at first, but just listen up and you'll start getting a hang of it. So remember I was telling you a moment ago in the intro that if you consume good healthy fats, you're going to have cholesterol from it, and that cholesterol is going to then produce your hormones. And the grand uh, parent hormone is pregnanolone. So that cholesterol gets converted into pregnanolone and then pregnanolone will then go ahead and begin producing or converting into other forms of hormones like progesterone, for example, DHEA. And then those hormones down the line begin producing other hormones. Now, the hormone pathway is pretty in-depth. It's much bigger than what you see on this picture, but I just want to give you an idea of how it works. Now, where I want to zoom in on for you guys in this moment is the estrogen section because estrogen and progesterone are usually what we see as the major signs of what's going on with your infertility. And we know that estradiol, for example, that would be more of your dirty estrogen and estriol is more of your protective estrogen. So when you look at these dials, you're looking, the purple range is the postmenopausal range. From the top of that purple range to the star, it's going to depend on the person, but you could say that this might be a perimenopausal range, and even a bit from the star a little bit up could be perimenopausal. But essentially from star to star would be a menstruating woman, okay? Now, each of these arrows are they're basically just telling us how this estrogen is digesting through your body. So with estrogen, you have something that's called phase one and phase two detoxification. And all you really need to know about that is how your body is processing or digesting this estrogen. And the third phase is in that gut zoomer that I reviewed with you all last week and gave you a tour of where you're actually excreting the estrogen out of your bowel movements, out of your poop. Okay, so here in this 4-OH, for example, it's a really handy one because it will tell us if you're having a lot of this dirty estrogen possibly playing a role in damaging your DNA, which we know how much fertility gets impacted when your DNA is getting messed with, right? So this is something that you totally can turn around. In the 2-OH pathway, it's also looking at how you are digesting the estrogen. So, um, you know, looking at this will give us also some insight into how your liver is doing. And again, all of this is resolvable. You can really turn these things around by using really good lifestyle habits, good diet, and using supplementation and really working on these pathways. They can be highly improved, which are gonna improve your chances of conception and maintaining your pregnancy and bringing your baby to full term, okay? So that's essentially what this is showing us. Now the next page is gonna start getting into cortisol, so I wanna show you the picture of that, which I love. In this picture area, you're going to see melatonin at the top, which is great. You know, we can look at it possibly for your sleep. It might correlate for you. But also, it shows us a doorway into your gut because we produce about 90% of melatonin in our gut, not just in our pineal gland. Now, um, it's also going to look at DHEA, which is our body building up hormone. But this cortisol marker here can actually give me some insight onto whether you have any thyroid issues, if we haven't run a thyroid test or you didn't know your thyroid might be playing a role. And then with the cortisol levels here, you can see this is the 24-hour picture. So this is really nice because we can get an insight into why your energy is low and get confirmation or why your energy is high at certain times of the day. And this can all really be correlative with some of the other investigations that we run to help determine why your body is running into infertility.
The last page goes over some really great markers about some B vitamins, uh, glutathione, which is essential for anti-aging, but also has a big influence on your liver and how you're moving those estrogens through your body. And these are some neurotransmitter metabolites. It's just a really, really comprehensive and handy test where we can take this information and then begin to turn around your fertility struggle. Um, go from infertility to fertility holistically and druglessly, which is awesome. So if you have any other questions about this tour, about this test that I just gave you, please reach out to me. You can DM me on Instagram. You can email me. Um, I love to hear your questions and I'm happy to answer them. I hope you found this discovery of the Dutch test really useful, why it's so handy and really unveiling some of the root contributors to your infertility. And if you are ready to run the Dutch test or any other functional lab tests and you need someone to help you analyze them and create a holistic and drugless protocol that's gonna help you to reclaim your fertility, then please click on the qualifying call link down below so that we can talk about how you can have your baby. Again, I hope this video was helpful for you all and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.